getting my grease ready to go I cook my fish belly first a little small parts around the belly of the fish that tells me about the temperature of my grease so when I get ready to put the fillets in I, I don't have to you know try to guess what the temperature of the grease with them it's browning up nice looking good we like crisp thin fish we don't like big old thick pieces you want to tell them what Miss Wanda's done got done? She done got the hush puppies made and the tater salad and stuff like that. It's going to be a meal. We were just discussing, is it a rich person's meal or is it a poor person's meal? We was hard to decide because used to the poor people eat this away. But now the rich people go out to a restaurant and eat like this. So we're trying to determine, is this rich food or poor food? How hot is it? Can I test it? It's hot. It's hot. Mmm. A little more salt. Yeah, I figured it. That salt shaker don't put out as much as we need. You don't have to add a little more salt before you fry the others. Or can you? Yeah, I can put it in. It's good though. My first bite of our fish. This is a big crystal salt and the top of this ain't got hardly no, it don't come out very well. Mm. We'll just that catfish it. almost tastes like chicken. Well, if it's cooked right, it ain't much different. It tastes almost like chicken. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see how this lays down in there. Is that Ooh. what you want? Looks like that's about right. Lay it down in there slow. The secret to a good fish is you don't move it around in the skillet until it already gets good and seared. And you want to tell them what you coated it with good old organic corn flour you're getting a little bit hot what'd you add to this i just put salt and pepper and I, want to I want to taste the fish i don't want to taste something else organic corn meal yep bob's red meal I well believe. actually it's corn flour corn flour yeah bob's not corn meal corn meal falls off too easy corn flour and when you do your fish up you want to let them set about 15 minutes before you put them in the grease because if you don't, the flour will come loose from the fish. How's it going, Mom? What you think? Mm -hmm. Can we raise some catfish or what? That's eating there now. Like you said, it needs a little salt. Oh my goodness. That's good. Man, is that good. And that's the fish belly. Usually the parts that ain't no good. <laughs> Can you imagine what the fillets are going to taste like? That's what I like? say, man. Them fillets are... Mm. Tender? Wow. That's, uh, that is the best tasting catfish I've eaten in years. I'll let this get a little bit... You can tell when you touch it. If it feels hard, then you can turn it over. And I like it to be golden. 
It is looking golden. Isn't that pretty? Man, Danny has been a professional fish fryer for many years. <laughs> I used to cook for a lot of places. Thanks to church functions and stuff like that, when he had fish fries, I always got stuck with doing it. Danny's helped many hats over the years. I have. I'm a jack of all trades. And one of them's fried our catfish. Uh, personally, I really like it to be deep fried inside a big pot. Yeah. With some good peanut oil because if you do that, you can watch the fillet when it comes to the top and rolls over. Uh, the way you know fish is done is the steam quits coming out of it. When the steam quits rising out of the pot, you know all the water's cooked out of the catfish and it's actually done at that point. It's harder to know in this. Yeah, and this in the skillet here, it's a little bit more difficult. But we didn't want to buy peanut oil. And... No, I wasn't going to do all that. This is our own home rendered lard here. Yeah, this is this is deep south lard that's being cooked in. Which means it's even going to be better. Between the fish and the hush puppies, it took a full pint. We had half a pint when we started, and we got half a pint now. So it's going to be, I'll say it took a full pint of, of deep south home rendered lard to actually cook the hush puppies and the uh, the catfish. I think it's about ready to come out. Well, I don't like chewy fish, so. Nope. I, I like, like it, it tender and crispy. I like it to be when I bite it. I like it that a little piece of, looks like that's going to be mine. I like a little bit of a snap to it. Now that's a little bit thicker, but it was up toward the head a little bit. And it's looking good. It's looking really good, I'm telling you. Look at that color. I had to find us some ketchup. You can see it, it ain't splattering everywhere. You don't want you don't want it to just be splattering. You'll know when you first put it in. It's kind of like cooking syrup. You can watch the bubbles on the fish, and you know when you're about done. Wanda made a mess. Yeah, I'm just Wanda. She's always a, I'm always making, making messes mess. like that. I'm too OCD. And it's kind of good because I have to clean up after him. And let me tell you, I don't throw anything away on a fish. I even keep the, after I fillet it, I keep the backs and all. Because to me, that's some of the best eating right there down that backbone and all. That's where your flavor is at. The tail fins always, if they Ooh. get crispy. Yeah, if they get good and crisp. As kids, we fought over that. Okay, I think we about, let's look at this grease drip off of it here. Don't waste the grease. Nope. You just let it fall off in the pan there. You don't have to worry about the fish being all oily. In there. Actually, you don't get it all over your paper towel either. And when you cook a fish well done, it don't hold a lot of grease. If you, if you undercook it, uh, the fish, the meat will actually hold the grease. And people wonder a lot of times after they eat fish why their belly hurts or something like that. It's because they didn't cook it all the way. Like this. Looks like some fine pieces of fish. All right. Time to move forward here with some more. Make sure our grease is still where it needs to be at. And this is two fish. It's only two fish here, yeah. Wanda caught a massive, how, how big did you think it was? It was probably three pounds, you know, just looking at it. And I don't waste any meat when I skin a fish out, you know. I save every last bit of it. So I caught nearly, probably close to a three pound. We didn't weigh, we didn't weigh it, but I mean, I can tell you it was. And then a, yours was close to two, wasn't mine it? Mine was probably a pound and a half. So about half the size of yours. This is going to be a lot of fish for. That's a lot for for me and Wanda. With everything else we got to go, it's a good bit of food. It is. It's a lot. Yeah, we're watching here to see if we see any more. I see a little bit of steam coming off of it. Still got a little bit more to go. I see it's coming off more off of one piece than it is the rest of them. Yeah. You got to make sure it's not your grease getting too hot. Because your grease gets too hot, it'll start smoking too. You got to make sure it's a steam. You can hear I don't see nothing coming off of it no more. It is golden.
And look at this, guys. No grease. Cook it right. There's not a pile of grease. Now, you can have a little bit, but there won't be no whole bun. Minute amounts of grease coming out of this. This is not full of full of grease. It's awesome. We done snuck a bite or two so we know it tastes good. Y'all deep south can raise some catfish. Big catfish. We were shocked. Yeah, I was shocked that they was as big as they were. We didn't get me um, catching my fish, but I was hollering, get him, Danny, get him, help, help, get him. And he says, hold on. I said, I am. He said, don't give him no slack. He said, no, I'm holding, I'm holding. Come get him. Hurry. Don't lose this fish. I don't have a camera. <laughs> yeah, he was. I was freaking out. I said, don't give him no slack. You give him slack, he might get off. And then what kind of hook did I have? You said it You had a brim hook, a little small, tiny hook. I mean, I was very lucky. And it, and it hit within, what, less than five minutes of me standing there. Yeah. And then it took Danny a while before he caught his. And then I caught another small one, but we yeah. put the small one back. Yeah, the small one we put back. And then I caught a brim, but we threw him back because he wasn't hurt. Yeah. So our deep south fish fry. Mm -hmm. Yep. That golden brown. Crispin up that tail. I don't have to break it off. It'll get very crispy. I guess that was mine. No, this is mine. Because yours was so big, I had to cut it in half. Oh, I got you. Well, we've got our meal fixed here. It's a simple meal, but yet it's a country meal. It's the kind of food that I grew up on as a kid and uh, as a young adult and stuff like that. And um, now that I'm older, I'm able to relive some of that because we're where we can. The guys are fixing to fix our plate. We're going to give a blessing, and then we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Out of everything we've raised for meat. Yeah, out of all the, out of everything we've raised for meat, mm. this is uh, this has been the best. That's better than any pork chops or, I mean. You don't even need ketchup. I got I, ketchup out, but you, you don't need ketchup. You don't need no ketchup, no tartar sauce, no lemon juice on it. It has no fishy taste to it whatsoever. And. I mean, it's just. It's amazing. I ain't even eating anything. I eat one hush puppy. <laughs> and very little potato salad. Very little potato salad. I've been just mainly eating the fish because it's just that good. I mean, it's amazing. When you grow something at home and you do it right, uh, and I know there's going to be those critics out there that say, oh, you shouldn't be eating catfish, but I, I, guess I, I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, it's just good. And fish is very good for you, and yeah. we have brim and bass and stuff like That's that. That's the next thing. We have a few brim in the freezer. We'll do um, a brim fry. Uh, we don't have any bass. Uh, I think one. One bass, I think. Well, maybe we do have one little bass that we caught. Yeah. He got hooked too deep and had to take him. Uh, but we're going mm -hmm. to we're gonna be testing our brim and our bass next. Uh, the catfish is a definite, it's a definite yes. And that's one of the most overlooked things on the homestead is fish. You hardly hear people talk about fish as, as a protein source, mm -hmm. but fish is one of the most nutritious meats there is. Yeah, and uh, it, it's... If it's cooked right, yeah, it's and really good. Y'all, this is cooked right. If you, got, if you cook fish and it has a fishy taste to it, you didn't cook it right. 
No, this don't taste like fish. It, I, it, it's oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely well. These are spring-fed ponds, so yeah. they're the water constantly runs over it. Don't ever stop running over. They're not dirty tasting. <laughs> no, anything like catfish you buy in town. No, this was actually good. I was actually holding on for dear life with my fish in the picture. I was squeezing him so hard because yeah. Daddy said, "Don't let him go." Well, she was. I was trying. <laughs> It was bleeding because the, the hook had went so deep in its throat that when I got the hook out of it, uh, it started bleeding out of its mouth. It wasn't actually hurt. It was just bleeding out of its mouth. And uh, yeah. it looked horrible in the picture, and, but I, we didn't, didn't have time to put it down and all that for, to get the picture. So Actually, um, we don't just stage pictures. <laughs> no, we don't stage anything. What you see with us and is I, the real thing. And I did grab the camera with Danny as he was pulling his in, but I had to take real mine in, throw it the rod down, grab the cameras. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our fish fry. That's a mouthful. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's a good thing though. I mean, the fish fry is something we haven't had here since we've had our ponds. I don't think we've had a fish fry anyway. No, we haven't had a fish fry. This Never. is our first uh, and we're enjoying it. The Lord has been good. He has blessed immensely and we thank him for it. Uh, and, and I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to uh, Many, many more. A lot more of it now that I've actually eaten it, and it's really good. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us with our Deep South Fish Fry. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.